In this tutorial, we'll look at interfacing a 4x4 four four keypad with 8051. Now, 4x4, uh, four four, it makes 16 switches and if we, uh, if we were to connect individual switches, that would have taken 16 port pins. But the 4x4 four four keypad is arranged in such a way that only 8 pins of the microcontroller are used to interface 16 switches and this comes in handy when you have uh, numbers 0 to 9 and even uh, a few letters a b c d e and f uh, uh, you know when you want these to be inputs this plays an important role so any of the microcontroller based projects where you want uh, numbers as input we obviously you know interface uh, keypad now let us go ahead and uh, see how the rows and columns are arranged and as you know uh, so this would since this is 4 cross 4 there would be 4 rows with the 4 rows and there will be 4 columns say these are the four rows so this is r1 r2 r3 and r4 and these are the four columns so this is c1 c2 c3 and this is c4 now at intersection of each row and column uh, there is a switch so we have a switch on every intersection and also remember that uh, if the switch is not pressed then uh, you know the circuit is not complete or the row is not connected to the column so what I mean by that is uh, say uh, say this for instance now R1 is not connected to C2 only when the switch is pressed R1 gets connected to C2 so we have all these switches here and say let's say this is our switch okay so let's say this is our switch 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and you could you know name these in any way you want so uh, it depends on uh, what you want uh, the output to be when you press a particular switch so as we make this is 0 to 3 and this is uh, 4 to 7 8 to b and c to f so these are the 16 keys that we want to decode whenever a key is pressed now 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 the most important point when interfacing a keypad is uh, say for instance i press a key 5 so let's assume that you know i'm pressing a key 5 so what is the time that is required uh, for a human being to press a key so say it is about one second or at times it is uh, much less than one second say 500 millisecond and the second important point is what is the time required for you know 8051 or any other microcontroller to execute an instruction so that is a few milliseconds or at times it is in microseconds so uh, so this is microseconds and this is in milliseconds now the key point here is uh, so since it's as if you now if you compare these two then this is uh, you know thousand x so you know it is it takes uh, thousand times more for us to press a switch than for a microcontroller to execute an instruction now you could use this fast speed of the microcontroller to save some microcontroller pins so uh, if we were to as i said before if you were to connect these individual 16 switches it would have taken 16 pins of a microcontroller now we would use this uh, have this in back of mind and see how we could use this uh, to write a scan algorithm for this now say for instance i press the 
key 5 now in order to detect this particular key press what we do is we make either the row or column uh, as input and the other thing as output now say for instance I make uh, this as uh, sorry this is say this as input okay so we have made all the rows as input and say we made all the columns as output and assuming this to be connected to a microcontroller now what we do is uh, so uh, so you could either send one or you can send zero so assuming that I am sending all ones on these pins or or rather you do it exactly as we do it for 8051 so assume that we are sending all zeros and these pins are pulled high and all the you know row pins are one now what happens is if i press the switch phi this zero comes here so yeah in another way the uh, you know, row two it grounds so this becomes zero now uh, now this could become zero if you know if 4 is pressed or 5 is pressed or 6 is pressed or 7 is pressed so there is no way to know if you know exactly 5 was pressed so uh, now remember that when we press and release a switch it takes us about 500 milliseconds but for but as soon as you when you uh, press the switch it does not take more than a few microseconds for controller to know that the key is pressed all right so we have a lot of time in order to do whatever next we want to do to determine that the exact key was phi now what we do is now instead of sending now we know that the key is detected now instead of sending all zeros what we do is we make only the last row zero now uh, since none of these keys were pressed the key is still held pressed because it, it will take a lot of time for us to press and release uh, when we compare it that with the microcontroller now since it is still being pressed uh, and neither of these 3 7 b or f is pressed this column will not become zero so what we do is we next shift our uh, pattern and then we make this as one and this bit as zero even now since none of this is pressed it still remains one now next what we do is we go ahead and change this to zero as you could guess and then uh, when we turn this as zero now since phi is pressed we will get this as zero now this particular combination when uh, so this is uh, say so now uh, let me uh, say this is connected to a port pin and this particular combination so when we press a switch only this is zero and only this bit is zero so this particular combination we could assign it to key 5 and then we know that key in fact key 5 was pressed to you know just brush up what we do is we first and detect if there is a key press and once we detect there is a key press instead of uh, sending all zeros what we do is we send only one uh, you know column as zero we make only one column as zero and we then check if there is a key press in that particular uh, column if not we switch to the next uh, column and then uh, to the next column and when there is an exact key press found uh, there uh, the the output of the rows would not be all ones but there would be a zero and this combination when we get an output as zero and uh, the combination for which we had made you know the uh, input as zero that determines the exact key press and the and the point to remember here is it takes us a much longer time uh, in comparison with the microcontroller to you know press a key so uh, going ahead we'll build up uh, you know a kind of lookup table uh, for what pattern we should get when we press a key so let us go ahead and do that 
all right so uh, let us see uh, and build up a look table for you know for what pattern what be the, what should be the key that we get now uh, assuming that this is connected to port 1 of the microcontroller say this is connected to port okay so this is connected to port 1.0 this is port 1.1 1.2 so we have 1.3 here four, six and 1.7 so uh, in the entire algorithm what we do is uh, we make uh, you know we make this as input we make all the rows as inputs and we make all the columns as output all right so uh, say uh, this is our seventh bit so we'll write it as t7 so this is d6 t5 d4 d3 uh, d2 t1 and d0 now say for uh, this for instance say for 0 for instance uh, this line would be 0 and this line would be 0 so that would make so this is all ones 1 1 1 and 0 so that that would be 0 and then uh, we have 0 on uh, port 1.3 so this is 0 and all the other bits are 1 so this would make hexadecimal e7 right so say next we have uh, this particular bit so for this we have for for us in to order i mean detect key one and this column column c2 would become zero and row uh, c1 would become zero so um, again so the uh, only the d4 remains 0 here and uh, this would shift to the next so instead of d3 uh, we have d2 becoming 0 so we have it here so now this we have it here now this would be e e the e remains same and then we have 1 0 1 1 so this is b similarly so this is x so similarly uh, what happens is this remains same for uh, key 2 and then this 0 shifts here so what we have is e and this is uh, so c and d and uh, next what happens is again uh, since you're not finished with row 1 this would remain 1 1 1 0 and this the 0 would shift to the last position and this becomes e and e so as you could guess so the uh, if you can continue with this then uh, the next bit would be zero and we would have a similar pattern so uh, if i write it down so for the uh, key zero we would have e7 next for one we would have uh, eb and then for two we have e d and for three we have e e similarly uh, for the fourth key so what happens is uh, p 1.5 becomes zero so d5 becomes zero and then rest all becomes one so this is one one zero one so one one zero one would make it one one zero one would make it so this is one one this would be zero and this would be one so this would be uh, this would be c and d so this would be for four it would be d seven and this d remains constant for the next uh, four keys so this would be d b uh, for six it would be d d and for seven it would be D E. Now, if the one shifts here, so zero shifts here, and if it, this becomes one, then we have one zero one one, which is B. So, 
for 8 it would be b7 similarly it continues till f so this is the lookup table we will be referring uh, when we write the code now let us go ahead and look at the actual schematic now as said earlier these 16 keys these are connected to port 1 of the microcontroller so as uh, said in the as said in the previous slide now uh, we have a lcd to display the key pressed and this is connected in 4 bit mode and this is connected to port 0 now if you have not uh, watch the LCD interface in video you could go ahead and watch that first now and all the other basic connections require same we have a reset connected we have a crystal connected and there is a power and uh, if serial if it is required so uh, so these are the two important things the keypad and the LCD so the keypad is connected to port 1 and the LCD is connected to port 0 so uh, we will write an algorithm wherein if we press a key that is detect I mean that is shown on the LCD now what we would do is basically we would uh, you know first detect a key press and uh, since we, it takes us uh, you know a few uh, you know 500 milliseconds or about a second we could scan the key in you know a few microseconds say about 100 or 200 microseconds now uh, since uh, this is too fast what we do is we confirm the key press once or twice so we need to uh, really confirm if the user has pressed the key now uh, once uh, so once we detect a key press what we do is we uh, scan for the key now uh, we'll discuss the scan and how we scan for the key so what we do is uh, once a key press is detected we uh, scan the key now uh, after we scan the key uh, we look it up in the table that we have uh, discussed and then determine the exact key press and once we determine we display it on the LCD now before we detect a key press we also ensure that all the keys are released sure. uh, what this does is uh, say you had pressed a key for a very long time then the and there's no point in scanning or rescanning the key or even if you have uh, you know pressed one more than one keys so uh, in order to uh, ensure that it does not simply keep scanning we ensure that it is key is released first even before we do all of these steps so uh, so in the library you could find the following function so keypad in it it does not uh, do much of uh, the stuff in uh, this particular case because we just set uh, the required uh, pins as uh, so what we do in keypad in it is we make uh, the columns as output and row as input so for that we send 0x f0 so uh, if you remember the higher nibble was our was our uh, you know inputs and the lower nibble was our outputs and the outputs were columns and the inputs were rows so that's all we do in keypad in it now in wait for key release what we do is uh, we ensure that all the keys are released so for that what we do is we and we send f0 to the port and then we and it with f0 so if we send f0 and if we get f0 back it means that no key is pressed so similarly what we do is we uh, we do opposite of this and we also ensure uh, we wait there for some time for the keys to debounce and settle and then uh, you know we do opposite of this we send f0 and if we get f0 back it means that no key is pressed but if we do not get f0 it means some key has been pressed and then we run the scan algorithm uh, and uh, we get uh, hex code and we look up the hex code and get the exact key so these are the five functions so when we come back in the next uh, uh, session we'll look at the exact code thank you for watching